This has got to be the wildest video I've seen in a long time. Now, Mr. Nathan Clark lost his son, his 11-year-old son, about two weeks ago by the hands of a Haitian immigrant, okay? The Haitian immigrant did not have a valid driver license. He doesn't know how to drive, okay? He's driving early morning. He jumps the curb and he runs over Mr. Young Clark here, all right? Now, Mr. Trump and J.D. Vance reached out to the family and uh, the father didn't want no parts of it. He said, do not politicize my son. Leave my kids out of this. And the Trump campaign, hands off, okay? You have stories, Huffington Post, NBC News, that he slammed the Trump campaign. Do not politicize my son. Cool. Hands off. He buried his son. And then a week later, he gets on the podium and says this. Oh, we felt it would be in our best interest to be here after recent comments. You know, I wish that my son, Aiden Clark, was killed by a 60-year-old white man. I bet you never thought anyone would ever say something so blunt. He wish it was a 60-year-old white guy who did it instead. What in the f*** is going on here? This is the father. I know he's probably grieving. I know his heart is broken. But I don't know. What made you think about a six-year-old white guy who would have done it instead? Your your son was killed by accident by the hands of Haitian immigrants. And, you know, we can't cover that up. The guy did not have a license to drive. Can't cover that up. Your city of Springfield has been overrun. 20,000 folks overnight. Boom. The whole culture has changed. And then now you said you wish that it was a white guy who have did it instead. But if that guy killed my 11-year-old son, the incessant group of hate-spewing people would leave us alone. The last thing that we need is to have the worst day of our lives violently and constantly shoved in our faces. Now, if the father came on and said, I wish this was a six-year-old white guy, I probably would have gotten justice. Because we all know that these immigrants are getting away with murder. All right? You could delete somebody if you was an immigrant. They deport you. And two months later, you come right back in and do it again. Now, if you had said that, then people are like, okay, I get it. He says, I wish it was a 60-year-old white man because I'm getting too many hateful rhetoric come out of this. What? But even that's not good enough for them. They take it one step further. They make it seem as though our wonderful Aiden appreciates your hate. That we should follow their hate. And look what you've done to us. Who, sir? Who? Who is using your son for a political purpose? The Trump campaign has backed off your family. So who's doing this? Where's the proof? But here you go on the soapbox talking about they're using your son to spew hate. Who, sir? Who? The media? Huffington Post? NBC News? Who's doing it? We have to get up here and beg them to stop. Using Aiden as a political tool is, to say the least, reprehensible for any political purpose. And speaking of morally bankrupt, politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants the border crisis and even untrue claims about fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. What? Your son just died and you virtual signaling for the immigrants. Seriously. And he's talking about the pets. <laughs> You're comparing 
eating pets from the migrants to your son's death. And nobody is talking about it except the media. Cause I have not heard JD Vance or anybody else on a, on a trail using your son as a political prop. You know, he's a Democrat. However, they are not allowed, nor have they ever been allowed to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. He don't want Trump and Vance using his son as a political football, yet he's over there standing on a soapbox on top of his son's grave. Talking about, I wish it was a six-year-old white guy that had done it to help Kama advance her talking points. What an evil world we live in right now. Jesus Christ. To clear the air, my son, Aiden Clark, was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. This tragedy is felt all over this community, the state, and even the nation. But don't spin this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine. Make the difference. Lead the way and be the inspiration. What many people in this community and state are, and nation are doing is the opposite of what you should be doing. Sure, we have our problems here in Springfield and in the U.S., but does Aiden Clark have anything to do with that? Okay. All right. This guy, I know he's grieving, so I'm not, I'm not going to jump on him like that. But, sir, the residents of Springfield, your neighbors, your next door neighbors are the one who are calling the police and saying these things. Your neighbors are the one that are saying that these Haitian immigrants are getting driver licenses and turning cars over and cannot drive. And it's nothing but a headache. All they're doing is raising our rent and our taxes and, and wrecking vehicles. And there's just been nothing but a hassle since they've been here. It's been horrible. How would you rank their driving from one, one to ten? Uh, a negative ten. They're horrible. The worst driving I've ever seen. I'm from down south. <laughs> and when they got chased out, he hit the curb. <laughs> he just hit the curb. <laughs> when they got chased out, okay. she heard one of them say it and talking about, we'll come back, we own this town. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk to this. Look at them, just blasted off. What the fuck? Do you work for the BMV by chance? Okay, so what did the Haitians have to do to get a license? Can they transfer their license from Haiti or? No, they cannot. Do they have to undergo the same tests? Um, I'm not allowed to answer. I really don't know, but I know they're getting them quick. They're getting them quick, right? Yeah, I don't know how. Well, why is that? Are, are there certain rules they're not aware of? They just don't pay attention, I guess. I'm not sure what it is, but they just, man, every day it's, it's something new. They're always accident on Facebook. They're always seeing it. So it's always something. In your opinion, are they doing their best to assimilate into American culture and learn the ways of what it means to be an American? Or are they kind of just bringing they Haitian kinda, culture here? They, they bring their own culture here and stick to themselves and... They walk around stores eating food, don't pay for it. It's just, they do what they want around here. It's kind of aggravating. Okay. It's kind of disrespectful towards us. It's been here for a long time. You feel disrespected? A little bit. Yeah. Yep. Your folks, nobody here outside of Springfield is making this up. Your people, your neighbors, your coworkers, they are the ones that are saying this. And we are repeating it. We're seeing the police report and we're repeating it. But we're lying. You got smoke for us, but not the smoke for the people who's reporting this. Right. Yes. Thank you. Get off my phone. 